throughout history, mankind has relied on trade as means of survival. Trade plays an important role in all developing countries. With trade, we are able to create a lot of jobs in our country. It boosts the level of living. That means eventually that the economies will go up and we shall improve the national development as a whole. The East African region is currently characterized by high logistics costs and low levels of service provision. Logistics plays a huge part in entire value chains. For all that we produce in Eastern Africa, if we could export that to Western Africa today, for example, at a much lower cost, much more faster cycle times, we could become more and more producers of things that they need. Logistics costs currently account for about 42% of the total cost of production, while costs associated with delays represent about 23% of the total import process cost. For Kenya to become efficient, we need to have a very good understanding of the costs of freight, the costs of logistics, the costs of clearing, the time it takes, because at the moment interest rates are running at 14 to 20 percent. You have an extra month of, of demurrage or your container is stuck in the ocean or in the port, that's a lot of money that's just getting tied up for everybody. These challenges did not only cause friction among traders and service providers, but also discouraged investment in the import and export sector, leading to the decrease of trade in the region. If you look at the structure of trade at the moment, there is a big imbalance, particularly for Kenya. The current account deficit is widening. In other words, there is less exports compared to imports. In fact, exports are stagnating while imports are increasing. And we may end up with an unsustainable current account if we don't take some remedial measures. These challenges did not go unnoticed. The Shippers Council of Eastern Africa was formed to represent the interests of importers and exporters in the Eastern Africa region. The Shippers Council of Eastern Africa is a, a body a corporate that represents uh, shippers who do business uh, of import and export through the ports and uh, airports. What we realized in the last 10-15 years is that a lot of the business that's managed in the clearing forwarding of cargo is managed by third-party agents and the Shippers Council was set up as the owners of the cargo and to be able to bring in efficiencies into the system, look at the sustainability of the supply chain, uh, have a body that would be able to advocate and lobby with government, with the port authorities, with the KRA and uh, other major stakeholders within the industries to make the whole supply chain a lot more efficient where you would then be able to cut back on costs, improve savings and improve your sustainability. 70-80% of the companies that we represent do business in the region and there was a need for us to actually have that regional framework. Kenya Association of Manufacturers has supported the Shippers Council since 2007 and even before. KM therefore played an important role in the formative years of the Shippers Council and gave guidance and the KM members were also very active in the Shippers Council, advocating for various issues that were affecting the cargo owners in the country. The entry of the Shippers Council in the industry assisted in the implementation of various legislations that led to improved service provision. The Shippers Council has, over the last five years, become one of the main focal bodies in the private sector that government refers to. If you remember, in the old days, our roads kept breaking down because heavy trucks used to be going there all the time. Shippers Council was very much involved in ensuring that uh, the Weybridge stations came in. We had the seven tons per axle load limit brought in. It's being respected. And now we have got probably the best roads in the region. The Shippers Council has also been very much involved in, in the lab set, the LAMU setup. In the old days, if you brought a container in, as an agent, you would run to Kenya Bureau of Standards, you would run to KRA, you would run to KEFIS. Now everything is done on a single portal window which makes it much, much more efficient. It cuts down uh, clearance times by up to a week, 10 days, and all your payments are done online. The Mombasa Port Corridor Charter was uh, signed last year in the presence of His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. 25 signatories actually appended their signature to that charter. One of those uh, signatories was the, the Shippers Council, and the other one also was Trademark East Africa. And these two organizations also worked very closely in preparation of that document. Shippers Council of Eastern Africa is also involved in creating awareness about government policies and ensuring compliance by industry. We are an advocacy and uh, a membership organization. A lot of the issues that we deal with uh, have a lot to do with the Port of Mombasa. 
the corridor that we deal with from Mombasa to Malaba and beyond. Some of the operational issues at the airport, some of the policy issues that the government uh, brings in. So we do advocacy on those areas. We actually scan the environment every year and say how are we performing in terms of our logistics vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. We take in the, the issues that the members present to us that range from some of the issues that they have with maybe government service providers or private sector service providers that are stopping the smooth flow of their operations. We sort them out for them. Sometimes it's on a, an individual company basis or sometimes we collate issues to sort of get um, the feel of the, of the issue at a larger scale and then we present it to the concerned party at maybe a roundtable discussion or in their offices. Apart from policy interpretation, the Shippers Council is involved in providing a platform to articulate members' concerns and demands to service providers and policy makers, timely interventions in operational issues that members face, capacity building programs like awareness workshops, training and firm level interventions that increase members' competitiveness, industry information like freight rates, dwell times and turnaround times through various channels, the quarterly magazine, the annual logistics performance survey and the website, biannual networking forums for all players in the transport sector to discuss and find solutions to logistics challenges. There are numerous benefits of joining the Shippers Council of Eastern Africa, some of which have saved businesses huge amounts of money. Bitco today operates in fast-moving consumer goods in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Madagascar and Rwanda. We need to make sure that our goods go across borders seamlessly just as they would go into a single country, so that our turnaround times, cycle times are faster. Mabati Rolling Mills is the major manufacturer of metal roofing sheets in Kenya. Logistics, transport, clearing, forwarding and other services, including shipping, are a very important part of our business. And, and if you want to achieve efficient uh, logistics solutions, then Shippers Council will definitely be, be part of the business. Rift Valley Railways is a company that is concessioned to run freight services in both Kenya and Uganda and passenger services in Kenya. We have players like uh, Shippers Council who we are working with to ensure that uh, clearing of the cargo, especially at the borders of Malaba, is done much more efficiently and is much faster than what we what would, uh, would really prefer. All pack basically falls under the industrial promotion sector. So we do manufacture corrugated cartons. We also have another line of production which we do manufacture the polypropylene bags. We do have customers from within Kenya and out of Kenya. We joined the Shippers Council of Eastern Africa to have them as an interface between us as the shippers and the government. You know, somebody who can speak on our behalf and sort out our issues and challenges whenever we have them. We're part of a group of companies called Dutch Flower Group and we specialise in the export of perishables, namely flowers and vegetables. We have been a member of the Shippers Council for the last two years. It's given us somewhere where we can go and share best practice within the industry and also a forum where we can enhance our capabilities here alongside the rest of the supply chain. Spedag Interfreight in the region of East Africa is one of the leading logistics and forwarding service providers and are providing logistical solutions all across East Africa with a wide net network and range of partners and own offices all around the globe. The certain tariffs which were imposed by uh, CFSs, by shipping lines, the Shippers Council have aligned them in the past. When uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta came up with uh, the, the project to enhance uh, the shipping time out of the port of Mombasa, Shippers Council played a key role. Uh, they provided training, workshops and many other interventions which have helped uh, logistics. We had the tax 
trainings, we had uh, the inspection trainings. Some of the things we assumed we knew, but when you meet different stakeholders and you put your voices together, it becomes very different. We had an issue with evaluation with KRA. Every time we used to bring in our goods, you know, we could have disputes after disputes. But when we joined the Shippers Council, so they gave us an audience. In fact, one of them actually came here and he took it up to himself to go and meet the KRA commissioners. And that we're grateful because he did it on our behalf and that has not been an issue ever since. Shippers Council has been able to ensure that the cargo that is moving on the road is as per the limits that are allowed to be moved on road. This has really assisted us in increasing the cargo that is moving by rail. We have a tagging system that is able to, to control uh, transporters or trucks that avoid following the rule of law. We used to record traffic flow of about 1,200 trucks. We are doing an average of 4,500 every day. Shippers Council have really been of help and of support to compliance. I've gone through their website and I've shared with, with, with several transporters, even from the, the other parts of the East Africa region, like Uganda, to really know what capacity they should load on their containers when they are bringing them from maybe China or any other country. And some of them proudly tell me that uh, they, they, they access the information from, from uh, Shippers Council. Through working with us, the council has been able to achieve at least more than 150% increase in its members. There's been lots of progress at the council in dissemination of information, particularly through the logistics uh, uh, performance survey. I think the Shippers Council has now come of age. Now it's time to say expand the services, expand the benefits to members. Response times need to be faster. Once uh, Shippers Council starts doing that, Rather than people going to their clearing agents and other people sorting things out in a, in a unilateral basis, it would be better that the Shippers' Council makes it much more competitive. My advice to the Shippers' Council in terms of increasing membership and becoming sustainable would be the need to develop a value proposition and deliver on the same for their members. The Shippers' Council should also ensure that there's a lot of stakeholder consultation in the work that it does both within the business member organizations and business fraternity and with government to ensure that any decisions that are reached have the voice of the majority being considered. Shippers Council has definitely tried to address issues which are local and regional. Where they probably will spend more time in the future is going to be with shipping lines outside the country where I think we pay a lot of charges which are not due. Looking at the logistics, coming into Kenya because I think that probably needs more attention. Anything to do that can speed up the processes of imports, exports, free movement of goods, peace, people is only going to benefit Kenya and the wider, wider community. For those who are not members, they need to join the Shippers Council. It's very easy for the Shippers Council to convene some government offices to deal with our issues the way we want them, as opposed to you as a single person. We are living in a region where I can see a lot of boom in our industry. We need to focus on the core things of our businesses and the Shippers Council will be an association which will help us to achieve this. East Africa right now is at a fantastic positioning in Africa. We're the hub for a lot of things. And I think we just got to make sure each one of us works together and makes this happen. In Shippers Council, we have a lot of capacity in terms of uh, what we are able to do. So we, we are really excited that we have a space that is not occupied by anybody else. Membership to Shippers Council is open to any registered company involved in direct import and export business and to all logistics service providers. For us to remain competitive the next couple of years, we're going to have to cut down our costs. And that's what the Shippers Council is really going to do. And that's where the membership is needed. Mm -hmm.